Hello and welcome to DevWave Diaries. If you're ready to level up your web design skills, you've come to the perfect place. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this animated background design using only HTML and CSS. Let's get into it. Let's start by creating a div with the class name container. Inside this container, add another div with the class name context. Within the context div, insert an h1 tag and give it any title you'd like, for example, pure CSS animated background. Next, within the container div, add another div with the class name area. Inside this area div, create an unorder list with the class name circles. Finally, within the circles list, add 10 list tags. This is the only HTML code we need for this animation. Now, let's move on to the CSS. First, let's create a basic boilerplate setup. Then set margin and padding to zero removes any default spacing around elements, ensuring a clean layout. Using box sizing, border box makes sure that padding and border widths are included within the total width and height of elements. Now, open the Google Fonts website to get this font style, I'll provide the link in the video description. Once there, click the Get Font button on the right side. Then, select Get Embedded Code and copy all the link tags. Paste these link tags right after the main style link in our HTML code. Next, go back to the Google Fonts website and scroll down a bit. Copy the font family style from the second box and paste it into the CSS boilerplate we created earlier. Now, open the browser, and you should see that the font style has been successfully added to the website. Next, let's add style to HTML and body. Set their width to 100% and height to 100vh. This ensures that both elements fill the entire viewport, covering the full width and height of the screen. Now, let's add style to the container div. Set its width to 100% and height to 100vh. This ensures that the container div takes up the full width of the screen and the full height of the viewport, making it fill the entire visible area. Next, let's add style to the context div. Set its position to absolute, width to 100%, and height to 100%. This will make the context div cover the full width and height of the viewport. Using display, flex will enable flexbox, and justify content, center along with align items, center will center the content both horizontally and vertically within the div. Now, let's add style to the h1 tag. Set its color to hash FFF to make the text white, and set font size to 3.5 rem to make the text large and prominent. Next, let's add style to the div with the class name area. Set its background to hash 4354c8 which is a shade of blue, set its width to 100%, and height to 100%. This will give the area div a solid background color, and make it cover the entire width and height of the container. Now, let's add style to the circles list. Set its position to absolute, with top and left both set to zero, making the div start from the top left corner of its parent. Set width and height to 100% so that it covers the entire area of its parent. Finally, setting overflow, hidden ensures that any content inside circles that goes beyond its boundaries won't be visible. After that, let's add style to all the list tags inside the circles. Set their position to absolute and list style to none to remove any default list styling. Set width and height to 20 pixels so each list forms a small square. Use display, block to ensure they behave as block elements, and set background to has 6f33, creating a semi-transparent white color for each square. Now, if you open the browser, you'll see all the list tags positioned at the top left corner of the website. Open the Inspect tab, select the first list tag, and add a style left, 40%. You'll see that the list moves 40% away from the left side. You can adjust this value using the keyboard's up arrow key to position this box more precisely. Next, let's add style to the first list tag using the selector.circles child, 1. 
set left to 25% to move it from the left side, width and height to 80 pixel to make it larger, and animation delay to 0 seconds so its animation starts immediately. Open the browser, and you'll see that the first list tag is positioned 25% from the left, with a size of 80 pixel. Now, copy this style 9 more times by using Alt plus Shift plus down arrow. This will duplicate the style block quickly allowing you to set up the styles for the other list tags. Next, change the second code block from nth child, 1, to nth child, 2. Then, set left to 10%, width and height to 20 pixel, animation delay to 2 second, and animation duration to 12 second to control the delay and duration of the animation for the second list tag. Similarly, let's change the styles for the remaining list tags by updating the nth child selector and adjusting the left, width, height, animation delay, and animation duration values for each one. This will position and animate each list tag differently, creating a dynamic effect for all of them. As you can see, we've updated the styles for all the list tags individually. Now, let's move on to the next part. Now, open the browser, and you'll see that all the list tags are positioned perfectly, each with a different size. Next, let's add some style to the list tags. Set bottom to minus 150 pixel to position them slightly below the visible area. After that, add an animation to the list tags by setting animation, animate 25 second linear infinite. This will apply a smooth, continuous animation that lasts 25 seconds, loops infinitely. Next, let's create the animate keyframes. At 0%, we set transform, translate Y, 0, rotate, 0 degrees, so each list starts from its original position without any rotation. Opacity, 1 makes them fully visible, and border radius, 0 gives them square corners. At 100% keyframe, set transform, translate Y, minus 1000 pixel, rotate, 720 degrees, moves each list 1000 pixels upwards while rotating it 720 degrees. Setting opacity, 0 fades each element out, and border radius, 50% makes them fully circular, creating a smooth transition from square to circle as they animate. Now, open the browser, and you'll see square boxes moving from the bottom to the top, rotating as they move, and their corners gradually becoming rounded. This creates a beautiful background animation effect that adds a dynamic visual element to the page. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.